plenty of people who studied history do not agree with you, but hey. Matt Walsh just went on Dr. Phil to argue about gender pronouns? Shut up. And Addison. Dude. Oh, I've been dying to see this. I feel like we will get fucking clapped for watching uh, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, right? Why? Why? Isn't he like super duper fucking copyright aggro? He might be. Um, is that Cole Campbell in the video? I don't know who this is. I don't know what's going on. We've been together for about five years. I've been married for three years. I use they, them pronouns. Being non-binary just means that I just don't identify with the gender of the same. Yes, do not watch. Oh, really. the armpit hair! Oh, Lord! Do you really have that reaction oh. to armpit hair? No, not Never. on big, strong, muscular men, but... I don't um, I don't like it really either. Like... I, I personally don't like it. It's not for me, but, like, I don't fucking care. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Oh. Like, the, look, look. The, the, the non-conforming uh, shit, like, people that want to do this sort of stuff, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, oh. let them do I mean, I don't give a... It doesn't, doesn't like, keep me up at night. It's just gross. And I can say it's gross. Doesn't like, they get mad and outside of that react to it. Uh, if you would have been invited... What? If you would have invited Myth over... No, I'm not subjecting Myth to this, okay? <laughs> um, okay, what is it? My pronouns are he or they. I also identify as a non-binary. To me, being non-binary means having the sense of freedom to explore my gender in whichever way I want. I don't have to perform or pretend to be someone that I'm not. I can be my authentic self. It's really important for us to share more information with people because people are curious. They want to. Un oh, look, Andy's trans as well. We're just going to keep hanging out like we're good pals. Dude, like, we can have a fucking. We can. What do you want me to do? Kill him? Like, what? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, chatters. Oh my god. Like, Jesus Christ. Understand. But sometimes they don't always have the opportunities to do that. This is a hot topic. Yes. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Why is it a good thing? I guess because it creates dialogue and it invites conversation to learn about other people. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are really confused about gender identity in these times, and it's good for us to have these conversations so people open their minds and relearn and unlearn to what we've been taught. Right. And Addison, many people think gender pronouns are exclusive to the LGBTQ exclusive. plus community, but that's a misconception, true? Yeah. Well, everybody has pronouns. Like, you may use he and him as your pronouns, right? I use they and them as my pronouns. We all may have a certain gender pronoun, too, but I think it's important for people to understand that for trans and non-binary people, we often change our pronouns to reflect who we are when we come out and be who we are. How do you for the record, in, today, in, these sorts of, in these sorts of fucking shows, they always find, like, the most, you know... <laughs> no, they, no, they always go after someone who's, like, telegenic. They always go after someone who wants to be, like, a representative. And in most circumstances, like, I can't speak for these two, obviously. I don't know what's going on. But, like, it's usually, like, someone who's very interested in making a name for themselves and, and not necessarily just, like, being chill about right. what, whatever the fuck okay right. and anyway. I, I haven't you heard it either of them saying but yeah but like, they haven't said anything like, weird at all for the record at all in any you way know? yeah playing the difference between sex and gender i consider sex to be uh, our biological makeup our chromosomes our hormones our genitals is a biological makeup but our gender is more of an internal sense so think of it like this sex is what's between the legs and gender is what's between the ears, right? It's our, how we see ourselves on the inside. Okay. I see myself and as a that's something dolphin. somebody can't know. But that's like, that's not the same. Like, yeah, it, it's not the same, especially considering that like, look, when it comes to gender, it's very complicated. I, I don't fucking understand it. That's why I said like the Mac attack, you know, at least three, whatever, right? Um, it, it, it's not like, how do I describe it? It, it is it is not like, oh, I'm going to attack a helicopter moment. or whatever the fuck, right? There are some people that might even fucking say shit like that, or there's, like, all these, like, edge cases, whatever. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. But, like, what, like, if it was, if it's just, like, if if they're doing it, like, at will, just for no reason, like, it seems like a lot of pain to go through, just, like, yeah for no reason. Also, it's, it's, it's a great way to get it. attention, that's for sure. But... Not, you, but it's, it but it's not. Well, you're, it's well, you're, not. It's like a very difficult life. If you, it's if like not. You, I wouldn't really call yeah, it like a, lot a of great people, way to do lots it. Lots of good attention on Twitter, on Yo, social media. Yeah. I don't have anything going okay, okay. for me. Okay, I, I have to say something about this. I have to say something about this. You know that like people are gay for attention was exactly the same launching point against uh you know gay people in the '90s, right? I'm sure they straight up said that. You think? But like, how is this different? Yeah, but I think I can say I can. 
can think I'm whatever I am, that doesn't make me that thing. Are you not gay? I'm I'm that because I'm literally attracted to men, and I mm-hmm. okay. that that's what gives me that term. I can say I'm a giraffe. That doesn't make me a giraffe. But you're just saying you're attracted to men. Like you yeah, duh. Like, but why don't like, use the but G like, word? But like, so by, but like by that definition, couldn't you? Couldn't I easily just say that you're just doing that for attention? And that's sure. like I can't prove and that. I, that's totally fine. I can't prove either that they're doing it for attention. I'm just stating it's a great way to get attention. I, it's not. It's but it's it's not. It's, not. Totally. it's like an incredibly like difficult life. Like if you like I don't know. Have you talked is, to, is like, it is it difficult? Yeah. In 2022? Have you ever fucking, I don't have know you ever about fucking, that? Like, companies companies like, like had to transition. When com- they're oh, I have a transfer. And companies are. But like, have you have you okay? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've you talked, talked to like, someone who's like, fully but, transitioned. But like, you know, but like someone who's someone who's like yeah, transition when they're poor. Yeah. She, she transitioned when she was poor. Right. And she probably would say it's pretty fucking hard. Oh, I, I'm sure it's hard. But it's also a great way to get attention. It can be if hard it, and also give you attention. If it's a total choice and it's like uh, super easy to just do Oh, I don't it. think it's a choice to think you're something either. I don't so think so that's a choice. Think is, so you, you do believe that trans people are born, but you're just saying it's still weird? Oh, yeah. I think, I think you can totally... I think gender dysphoria is totally real. I think you can totally believe that you're a woman if you're a man. Absolutely. I, I would never dispute that. I was just stating in 2022, it is a great way to get attention as well. Even if you're, you could be doing it because that's literally what you believe, or you could be doing it for attention, but. Okay, that's uh, that's confusing me a little bit. So you're saying that people are doing it potentially for potentially, yes, absolutely. Okay, you had coming a mild... out as a they them and saying you're trans is a great way to get attention when people are genuinely spending all this money uh, transitioning because they genuinely believe it, and then we're supposed to call you they them. But like, even if that's trans. the case, by the way, even if that's the case, for the record, let's say Did you get mild. Oh, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. I'm medium and hot. Uh, what did you? Didn't you I get mild? I got medium, but oh, okay. No, then. I got. I definitely got. Here, take it then. It's fine. No, no, you're good. No, you're good. No, no, take it. I have more. There's more that's in here. I just. It, I thought you ordered mild, uh, like an extra mild one. Um. Okay, as we were as we were speaking, right? Um. Even if that was the case, I don't believe it is. But even if that was the case, especially when it comes to like. Um, the shit that, uh, like, trans people are subjected to, where we personally, like, you know, routinely can talk about their existence as though it's, like, something that's up for debate, and whether they're, like... Your existence, you exist, that doesn't mean I... No, 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 I'm saying, like, see, that's what I mean, though, like, you're... If your whole existence is wrapped up in what I think of you, you have bigger issues than me. No, it wouldn't be a problem if that also did not come along with, like, a, a boatload of fucking... Did you get a medium and a hot? I got a medium, and then I think maybe I got this one. Are you sure? I got medium... No, that's his. Didn't did you, you get Oh, medium? yeah, no, I got medium and hot. Yeah. I okay. got medium. We, got, we both got mediums. Okay, here. Yeah, and then you got... Did you get an extra medium? Yeah, yeah. but, I mean, it's fine if you didn't... Okay. Oh, this is yours. I got no bread. You want the bread, right? Um, yeah. Here. Um, as we were as we were stating though, it wouldn't matter if uh people what? The stop this one didn't come to bread. Okay. If uh it would not matter what people think of others if it just uh if it was just that. If there wasn't anything extra on top of that, like, but that's not usually how it works. What ends up happening is like people legislate uh, in a certain way. People use trans people as a talking point. There's like fucking maximum like four trans uh, girls that are doing high school sports, right? But that's a prominent public conversation. And the only reason why it's a prominent public conversation is because you know, people love to use that as a fucking I don't think it's point. maximum four, and there's trans how many, college how many, swimmers. I, I have no idea at the high school level. Oh my how God. about the trans college swimmers? Zero that trans. Are beating all, that are beating all okay. of the women. Zero, zero trans college athletes have actually gotten a scholarship into college for being I don't care if it's a scholarship. Athlete. You're still taking away from women Wait, why? competing. Wait, why? Wait, why? No, I do care if it's a scholarship, but even if they didn't get a scholarship, if you're winning against women in the women's division. But, like, why? 
these women have trained their whole entire lives to compete against women, then I think that's unfair. Okay. How about we just abolish gender differences in sports then? Just have the men compete against women then. I personally, Why is there a difference? I personally don't give a shit about uh, the gender differences, but I also don't, but I also don't care if uh, trans women are out competing cis women in women's sports. I don't care about yeah, that at all. Yeah, I do, and a lot because of women do. I don't think a lot of women do either, especially because like, why would you think that- You don't think a lot of women care? No, I think TERFs care, but ultimately I don't think women care. One, because it's not as, they're not as successful as you say they are, especially because they're like quite literally undergoing uh, hormone therapy that drastically uh, redefines their, their body structure and everything else. But secondly, they're not all that successful. Like people, people make it seem as though these people are incredibly successful in uh, in college and like all these like athletic endeavors, but that's not true. They're not. Oh, um, so them getting number one and number two at the like national you, you can find like for, one or that's two. Not, that's you not can being, find one or two. Well, there's instances. not tons of trans people at this time. I think it's a conversation. Yeah, exactly. It's a conversation right now because as this continues to grow or become more prominent, it's going to become more and more of an issue. Why would it be an issue? Do you because have any men? Social... Get, because people with a physical advantage men are going to be faster stronger than women no not every man is faster than a woman of course not but when you have the advantage of being seems a, man, a lot like you want to do equality of outcome in sports how so some people are taller than others some people are faster than others Oh, so you're saying, so you're saying, yeah, so you're saying fuck the gender differences, but I admit that there's a difference in body structure between men and women that gives men some advantages. So are you saying, no, fuck it, it's a quality of opportunity? Is that what you're saying? I think, like I said, that if a trans woman is really good at a particular sport, which is incredibly fucking rare, for the majority of trans women that compete in general. Um, and that's precisely why you always use singular anecdotes. That's literally the reason why. Like, no, Joe Rogan's and, about and, Fallon as, Fox. and the new thing is you're considered trans if you've not gone on any hormones, if you've not transitioned as all, at all. So when does it move from, oh, you need to take this amount of hormones in order to compete with the gender you're identifying as to if you say you're a woman, even though you have a penis, you can compete with the women. So how then you will not, um, How many pieces has nothing to do with this conversation? I don't think. But they do have rules uh, in place for this. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. Rules that actually end up hurting um, cis women, even like Castor Semenya, and women that are simply just have a naturally higher occurring testosterone in their in their bloodstreams. So. There already is a way to try to uh, legislate this. There is already rules and regulations placed. But even that, like, that actually ends up harming cis women. If you wanted to protect cis women, cis women that have a natural competitive advantage literally get cucked in the Olympics because they might have naturally occurring testosterone in their bodies uh, that are higher. There are also women with higher levels of testosterone than men. Like cis women with higher levels of testosterone naturally occurring in their bodies than men. Okay, so while you love on trans women, can y'all um, take a selfie with me? Sure. Wait, do you like still see it in? You're not, you're not. Okay, you're not gonna be in. Okay. Um, Hassan is bigger than any girl I've met. This is the only thing I don't agree with Hassan about. Yeah, I'm a big dude. I'm bigger than most dudes you've met, too. That doesn't change anything. Anyway, um, I'm going to give the woman ad break here. And then we're going to continue with this Dr. Phil video. Here's the woman ad break now. This is the swimmer he's talking about. Controversy of the year. Transgender swimmer Leah Thomas swims fastest times in the nation. Always like one person. One person. Let him have it. One person.
Okay, Even so, if it was so 10 if people. it's just one person, are you against that situation? What? Or so are you against that situation since it's Fuck just one no. person? No. Okay. I'm not I'm not against Competed it at all. With the men for three years, transitioned uh, and is now competing with the women. Yeah. Ridiculous. So what? Fuck they're that. they're trans, they're they're living they're trans, they're living their truth. They are they're a trans woman. I think trans women absolutely sh can and should compete with cis women. I don't understand why it's that big of an issue unless you think, and I think a lot of people should be more um, honest about this. They just think trans women are icky and weird and gross. I don't, I have a trans And that's friend. where they're like, that's where a lot of it comes from. I where don't they, at all. That's, where they, they, that's where people, how you want to live, love you. We can be friends, all of it. But like, so no. But like, but like, what, what, like why else would you give a shit over? Like, yeah. Because did you pay, men, did you like pay attention to swimming and before? testosterone do you, have advantages? Have you ever, have you ever cared athletic. about like who the best have swimmer is? Do you know who like, the second? Do you know who the second? Uh, yeah. Do you know who the second uh, fastest uh, swim time in the nation is? Is it a woman? Um, do you know? No, I have no idea. But yeah. Why don't you know? Because I don't care. Because I don't care. Exactly. You only care about this because there's a trans woman. No, that it's is... it, because men have a competitive advantage over women. Athletically. No, you're 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 literally proving my point. That that's people only act like they give a shit about this issue because trans people. Okay, that's it. They don't want trans people competing, and that's precisely why. Let's make a trans league. Why not make a trans league? Because there would be three people across like every fucking sport. That would be insane. Okay, and if there's no, <laughs> if there's no difference, why can't the trans women compete with the men? What? Why can't the trans women compete with the men? Because then? that would also be insane. Because if because there's that a, would hurt their feelings. They've, they've also they've done that and people complain. They've like literally done that. They've I know. So there wrestling. was one wrestler who. Oh no, that he was he was gonna wrestle a woman. Never mind. Um, I don't know. I'm against it. End of discussion. And and also because they're not men. They're that's a trans woman. That's not a trans man. Trans men can compete so, with the, So if with I say I'm a men. woman tomorrow, I should be able to compete with the women. Um, I can't speak on like uh like people who uh are are not like in the process of gender confirmation. Like I know that if someone says they're a trans woman, like my immediate inclination isn't to say, Oh, that person is probably lying for attention or anything like that. Um, but as far as like competitive rules goes, one, I personally don't care. If, if someone is like, I'm a trans woman and I want to compete against uh, cis women, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what the, uh, what the current regulation for it is. But the real, re the real thing I will say is this. I don't think human beings are, uh, are, are that grifty, if, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't think, like some people have done that and 99% of those people are conservative commentators that try to fucking get like, like try to do a quick own uh, to, to make a point that like, you know, men are stronger than women or whatever by average. And that's true. Like that is literally true. And it's always so like, that's like true. that fucking, that, that dude Zubies or whatever. That's like the dog shit rapper. Uh, he did that where he was like, oh, I won a weightlifting competition, but that's fake. And you're the guy who did that. There's no other instance where like, but these... if you just said that men are on average, typically stronger than women then simply because someone labels themselves as a woman, you say, oh, well, well, then they're a woman and they should be able to compete with the women. Like, I don't, I don't understand Talk that. to me when there is... When this is someone, mass and... Talk to me when there is someone who's not a conservative commentator, who's not clearly doing this for funsies. But no, you no, said no. That's... But, that, but that's a trans woman. It's not like... But... <sighs> Do you think that person is faking it to win? Um, no, but I do think he has an athletic, or she has an athletic advantage, for sure. So what? Talk to me when someone's like, I am just doing this specifically to win a competition. I'm not gonna undergo anything, like I'm not, I am, I'm using male pronouns in every other fucking part of my life, but in this circumstance, I'm just doing it. Talk to me when someone is not, talk to me when there's someone who's like faking being trans to win a fucking, uh, competition. Okay, so we'll have this conversation in probably the net, which I don't know if that's happened. So, yet. By, so you're, you're, you're. No, no, you're no. setting up for the future. Then is that oh, what you're fuck saying? Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah. Like, 
That's my point. It's like nobody cares about these sports. Uh, people just care about it because we there's do. trans people competing. We do. No, you don't. You don't care. You don't I know do. who the second fastest. Because I don't is. pay attention to swimming until a man is competing with the women. Okay, but you just admitted it. You don't care. So what? Why the fuck do you care? You only care about the trans people competing in it. You don't care no, about I, the actual I sport. I, I, if you care about the integrity of the sport, then you would know who the second fastest swimmer is in the women competition that literally got stolen their position from the trans woman, right? Like, but you don't because you don't care about the integrity of that process at all. No one does. It's really fucking no, creepy. No, I just care about women having the same opportunities as men to succeed. Okay. They should be able to do that without men taking over their sports. Yeah, if that was, if that quite literally was the case, then uh, people would be advocating for every other facet where women are competing in sports. They don't give a shit about how much women get paid. As a matter of fact, they fucking nope, cry. Because if, nope, because if um, people don't want to watch that sport as much as they want to watch the men competing in that sport, they should not get paid if they're not producing the same amount of ratings. Oh, okay, no. so you don't care about the women's sport? No, I care about women's sports and their their opportunity to compete in the sport. You care about women's sports as far as like trans women are competing? Is what no, I care about women's sports as far as women being able to compete fairly versus them getting paid the same amount. You get paid based on the ratings you bring in. If women Women were bringing in higher ratings like they do in gymnastics. Female gymnasts get paid more than male gymnasts. Female figure I don't know about the figure skating one. Female rhythmic gymnasts get paid more than male rhythmic gymnasts because they bring in higher ratings. So no, I think that's just I think not we should either. I think we should let more uh, trans women compete so that the ratings improve for all of these women's sports and oh, therefore women will the make more money. The ratings would go up. That's for sure. There you go. Because so many people are so obsessed with like what trans people are doing, even though there's like fucking you know, 10 trans people uh, competing that, you know, that'll automatically improve and elevate all uh, women's sports. So there you go. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm You're for further it, for advocating. I mean, if you care about it. If you think trans athletes bring in higher ratings for women, would you, would you be on board with it? Hell no, no. Why? What, no, what do you mean? no, because I want the women to be able to compete fairly and see who's the best based on their athletic. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna get into this. We're gonna continue. We're, we're gonna see what Doctor Gender has to say. is something somebody can't know just by looking at somebody. Nope. Yeah, because everyone is going to present and express themselves in a different way. I know it's very confusing, right? Everyone's like, "What is going on?" But it's really you know about us breaking that assumption that we can tell someone's identity, someone's story, their pronouns, even their name, just based on how they look. Right. Yeah. And so, how does someone ask? How does somebody clarify that, Ethan? How would you? What's the best way? What's I, the most comfortable way? I think for me um, to create a safe space. You got for real people quiet on this, dude. Oh no, no. I mean, you were mo It was You're mostly you guys debating. But pronouns. I will say, hi. My name is Ethan. Yeah. I use he or they pronouns. What about you? I think it's really important for us to recognize other people's pronouns because, again, we can't make that assumption, but for so many people who are cisgender, meaning that you do identify with the gender that you were assigned at birth, you're not transgender or not non-binary, I think a lot of people don't even question their pronouns because we already use them and it's already assumed correctly. Mm -hmm. But for so many trans and non-binary people, that isn't often assumed correctly. So we need to take the time to get bring to on know Matt people. Cisgender. Yeah, I want to see like, uh, uh, way. It says, actually, like describes a person. I do. Ew. I do. No, God you damn. don't. I do. No, you I don't. I fucking do. No, you no, don't. don't. He sucks. Matt Walsh. And he'd he's... be on Giga Chad with y'all, by the way. Oh, my God. He Jesus sucks so Christ. bad. He's, he's like, so good. He's so good. He, like, homeschools his children and then goes to fucking parent-teacher conferences. I love him. That is, like, literally... He pays the taxes, so do it, man. Oh, my God. That's the wackest person you could ever be on the planet. <laughs> I'm going to go complain at parent-teacher's conferences at other yep, people's fuck schools. Yeah, because these like... kids are going to graduate. Also, I don't think Matt Walsh would like you, if we're being honest. Like, I, you know... He loves me. Have you guys met? No. If you think Matt Walsh loves you when you are like, and I don't even care if you would like me or not, I like his takes and the discussion. Oh, I don't do they, him to do they, do they, do they bring like him. him in? Do they bring him in like a pro wrestling thing here? Yeah, dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> I love that. Let's so hear what the intellectual giant is going to do here. Matches or aligns with the gender he or she was assigned at birth. Now, this would be what has been traditional for centuries, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I usually just Why hate people that would fucking unconditionally term. hate me. But that's you know, me. if we don't use that term, then we end up saying maybe real men or normal men or regular men, right? Or we don't. We just say men, and then we say maybe transgender men, right? 
And the thing is, is that we need to realize that trans women are women. Trans men are men too. And so we just want to have a term for that privilege, that assumption that your gender identity is going to match the one that you were assigned at birth. All right, and then transgender adjective describes a person whose gender identity does not match or align with the gender they were assigned at birth. And then non-binary describes a person whose gender identity does not fit into the traditional binary of man or woman. And that term can be abbreviated to, and how do you pronounce that? Envy. Envy. Envy, yeah. Okay, <laughs> and uh, explain that. For transgender people, we are assigned a sex at birth. And when we grow up, you know, when there's a mismatch of, of how we view ourselves and how society views us, then we can choose to, you know, either medically transition or just socially transition or both. My name is Matt Walsh, and I've written a book called Johnny the Walrus. This book is about identity and imagination. Oh, he that's so creepy. As a oh, that's so creepy. Dude, automatically, dude, you're like, that is like, these are the guys that fucking complained about like drag power hour for children doing exactly the same thing, but way worse. My God, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, no, no. My you God. just want to fucking be around. Oh, dude. No, no, my no, God. no. I would never want my kids to be around this fucking freak. His dude. book was number one in the LGBT section. Oh, you know my that? God. Oh, my fucking Lord. Yeah, because conservatives have a lot of disposable income and they will literally buy whatever dog shit <clears throat> that you shill them. It doesn't matter. Also, like think tanks, like one of the <laughs> secondary jobs of a think tank is to order like a yeah. hundred thousand copies of yeah. a book. They so literally it they literally just have it in the basement, fucking probably burning it afterward. <clears throat> but uh, hey, you made it to the fucking top of the list, right? The walrus. And his mom's a little silly, she takes it seriously and thinks he really is a walrus. So she went on her phone and there are people telling her that this isn't pretend, he's really a walrus. And his mother takes him to the doctor to have him surgically transitioned and gets him walrus hormone pills and then eventually tries to drop him off at a zoo to live with other walrus. Not only topping the Amazon charts, my book has taken the world by storm. You're saying that there should be no construct of gender, just sex. You're either male or female. Right. And someone feeling in a mental, emotional way that they don't identify. Conservatives will fucking write a book like shitting on trans people for children. He wasn't so shitting that, on trans. So that ch children can fucking feel this. I mean, he's making an equivalence to like It was showing someone, the connection. What's the difference? That's not a connection and you know it. How there so? is a There's a difference between well documented well first of all there's a difference between like the way we visualize and understand gender which is a, a social construct versus like a human being okay like there are people out there that fucking you know do body modifications to change their body to be like lizard people or whatever the fuck but those people aren't actual fucking lizards like we all understand that. there's a human being that's doing that okay whereas gender on the other hand, is entirely a social construct that we have developed that we work off of contextual cues on like how people present themselves. Okay? Um, ultimately, someone saying I'm a fucking walrus is not the same as someone saying I'm a woman, I'm a trans woman. Okay? It's not because you're not a fucking walrus. It's not because not there is no there is no contextual uh, cues associated with like a human being being a walrus. That's not how we analyze human beings. And you already admit that. You, so you, what's a woman then? What so, is a woman? What is a woman? It's the same as like what is a man? It's just a fucking person who is a woman. So like then, why person. is it such a big deal to be called either then? Why is it? Why do you? Why are you so? Well, there's some people who believe in gender abolition in its entirety. I. Uh, Again, this is like this is why I fucking but, hate talking about this. But there has to be because a difference. Because conservatives between... are like more obsessed with gender than the most annoying SJW who's like but if you're, fucking if you're, xeno gender. You know what I mean? Like conservatives no, can't you didn't let give people a exist. Definition. If they're, because there doesn't have to be. It's just like someone from... who says they're, they're a woman. They're, they're a fucking so woman. So if I say I'm a walrus, there shouldn't be a problem. No, because there's a difference between like 
a, a, a human being and a walrus. But Whereas there is no difference between like a trans woman saying that they're a woman and a cisgender woman saying that they're a woman. There has to be a difference between a man and a woman or people would be transitioning from man to woman. So what is a woman? Oh, when people are, oftentimes when people are transitioning, they're simply transitioning uh, so that other people can understand through social context that they are women. Like and that is what, what it is. is. The, and what is it they're transitioning they're matching, into? They're matching the societal expectations of what a woman is. Which and is? Like someone that looks like a woman. Like what you would understand But there's a, a lot of men who look like women who don't want to be called women. So because they're men. Okay. Because they're men. And th so then call them men. So and they are we men. don't call them women just because they look like a woman. That yeah. doesn't make you a woman. Looking like a woman doesn't make you a woman. No, exactly. So... Okay, so no, but we that still haven't gone to. What? You, you and I are in agreement. Where you are, you and I are completely in agreement with this take. If that's what your opinion. Well, is. no, I was just asking you. It's so important transition, but then nobody can talk about what they're transitioning into. I think it's a woman is someone born with a some vagina. people. Some people <laughs> want to look a certain way. Others don't. That does Great. not change the reality that like a man, Ben Shapiro, is five four and can't grow fucking facial hair. Is he five four? Okay, yeah. I'm six four and I'm hairy as fuck. We are both men, right? Uh-huh. Uh, ultimately But that it's not ultimately your six he, fourness that makes you a man, and it's not your hairiness that makes you a man. What? It, it's what I have in between my legs, right? That's You're what dangling, yeah. That is part of it. Yes. What if a guy gets his cock shot off during a war? Is he like not a man anymore? Nope, but he was born with a penis. And he was born with and then there's intersex people too, like born. yeah, yeah, and usually one gender is it, usually the gender or one genitalia part mm -hmm. is predominantly larger than the other, and it's very clear. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because and, they, and, like it's a doctor making and that decision. Intersex not, is the low, and and it's such a low there are more, rate of people that it's not true. I there mean, are, so like so is like literally more, your engagement with this entire issue. Is like uh, completely marginal compared to like literally anything else. Yeah. So then, why is it a big deal to everyone? Else? It's a big deal to you. No, you yeah, know, like, it is. You, like you care about like the swimming. But y'all, we woman. wouldn't be having this long conversation if y'all didn't care. No, we, we don't care. care. We don't care in the sense of like just let them live. Like who cares? Yeah, I'm totally all for letting them live, but not but, at the expense of women. Live. But you're using. But this is like the let's one. Let's go eat lunch. Let's go to Starbucks. Let's live. You. I'm not for you taking opportunities from women. But this is like the one thing where you're like, women should have an equal sure. opportunity and outcome. No, I, not, 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 not if like, not if like, not if like they grow up poor, not if like one parent doesn't work or they're a single He doesn't even believe that. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care because I said, if, if, what if there were higher ratings? It's like the one situation where like, it should, there should be some enforced fairness to your standard. Like, why is this the one thing? Like literally like women's college sports. Like such a marginal thing compared to everything else. Well, so if you care about, about all of those other things, why isn't this a big deal for you? Because, because you this is like a this is a completely like numerical. Because I just think I think because it's it's such an attack else. on the truth. Looking at a man with a penis with, and then saying How, that you, you would have never known that that person oh, is a man. Are you kidding me? Have You're, you seen other pictures? It doesn't her? matter. You would never no, yeah, in a million fucking. There are cis women that look like that. One hundred percent. 1000% you would never everyone's gonna get into fucking clock mode right now and be like I'm clocking I'm clocking but ultimately there are cisgender women that look exactly like that and you would never in a million fucking years be like that's a trans woman unless that was constantly in your fucking mind straight up okay. straight up you would never you you the only, only reason why just like the only reason why you know that this is an issue is because someone made it an issue and presented it to you and you're conditioned into thinking that this is an issue and it's somehow unfair because trans women are not women in your mind. And that's fine. That's like, I mean, it's not fine. I don't agree with you on that. But ultimately, ultimately, this is not a fucking big deal in any meaningful capacity. You know then who it, it is a big deal a for? Big deal. No, it's a big deal for fucking trans people to get owned non-fucking stop for just being trans. That's who it's a big deal for. Great and I do care about, no, but I care about like, I care about making sure that they're not like, you know, they already have a lot going on. I care about making sure that we're just not like fucking owning trans people for no reason whatsoever, other than 
other um, than competing against women. Other than who they are and what they I can't change about trans themselves. women who want to work in the workplace, who want to go shop, who want to, but you want to compete against women, yeah, you're going to get them. But, like, but you don't care. You admitted that you don't care. I do care about this issue, for sure. No, you don't. You've I never, do. you have never spent, uh, here's, here's my argument, okay? I think if you are going to talk about trans women competing in a particular sport, like whether it's high school volleyball or whatever, you should be forced clockwork, clockwork orange style to watch every single fucking high school uh, division of that sport specifically for the rest of the fucking year that the, the, the sport is happening. If you ever talk about it, you should be forced to fucking watch it at gunpoint. But I could say the same about people who want universal health care, who want universal housing, who have tons of money. Then give your money and help these solutions. I want to. You go, want... Fund, go fund some homeless people. Go I want to. Go buy them a house. Go do... We can do that, but clearly we all don't. I do want that. I want that. I, I want mean, to not do that. just for you, for every, for every leftist with money. Then... Yeah. Go spend every eat the mi minimalist amount of food you can eat. Live in the smallest place you can possibly live in, the least expensive place, and give all the rest of your money to all these different causes. Fund a homeless person to live here. Do it with your money. But even no, if I were to do that, not, there, are people, there are people who give like tens of millions of dollars yeah. at a time to these causes, and it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Only, it does, only something at the scale, yeah. Only tell, something at the scale of state. It's no, okay, that can do anything. Yeah. Right, but they they still can provide with 10 million dollars tens of millions of dollars tons of homes for homeless people okay but if so, if, if, if there are there people why are there homeless people, people. like you know, like every state why is yeah. it because such people a wise doing it what you think people you are do, you, 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 think, you think people in new york city are not doing philanthropy no they that's are. all they fucking do in manhattan is you're telling me you're telling me there's not leftists in New York who can buy homes for homeless people? Is that what you're telling you're me? You're saying like an individual, an individual, an yeah. individual guy yes. should buy like an a million dollar home. Yeah. And how yes, many? How many? Maybe homes? not a million dollar, but yeah, with how tens much do you of think millions of dollars. How much do you think any home in New York costs? It doesn't have you. You have the homeless person has to live in New York City. Has to live in Manhattan. But, no. No, you but could, like four, or four. If so, if so, so buy them. You you're said, supposed to like buy them a building in Yonkers you, you and put said, them on a bus. There. You said basic needs, basic amount of dignity. Buy them a home in Dallas, Texas. Okay, buy and, them a home somewhere else so they can afford the basic amount. Who's organizing the transport of like the bus of homeless the, people? The rich person giving the money. How but about that? but you but what you're Transport talking about already you have so much. But what you're talking about already exists. Would be done for ch cheaper, more efficiently by the government. Yeah. What so you're why what you're you, describing why you already exists. This when you could literally just have the fucking because I don't want working class Americans paying for it. But but why we already established earlier on that like you don't want a homeless person living in the street. You think it's a threat to your security, right? Like that will literally improve your life. Like it is going to make your life better, and it's going to make that other person's life better uh, tremendously. And that's what I never understand. It's like a it's like a failure somewhere along the like conservative rhetoric and conservative thought process where it's like you're going to benefit from that homeless person no longer being homeless. You are. That person is not going to live outside of your house anymore. They're not going to have to take a shit and live in the indignity of like having to eat fucking trash every day. And ultimately, we know for a fact that despite the billions of dollars that are given to 501c3s that do exclusively what you're talking about, this problem has not been solved because the problem is, and it will never be solved because the problem is not something that you can individually decide to do. It's what the state is supposed to do. How do I know this? Because the state has done this in other places. America is not the only country on the planet. There are plenty of countries in comparable OECD nations where they have a much better outlook on combating homelessness and eradicating it where it stands and that starts with a housing first policy and that starts with not shelters but actually housing the homeless people so they can go on a pathway towards rehabilitating themselves and becoming active members of society if they want to do so it's just that's just how it works and i'm giving you how it works and i'm explaining to you how it works but for some reason you're like no let the rich people do it the rich people are trying to do it it just doesn't work it literally doesn't work is it that fucking cliche like madness is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different that's, results? That's, that's literally what we're all, doing. all we've done since the Gilded Age is yeah. these shitty philanthropic organization that like I'm sure you can point to some people individually that they've helped, sure. But it's never going to work to the scale of an actual government policy designed to do this. Like your, your entire point, right, is that like a liberal billionaire doesn't really give a shit, right? 
Um, I mean, not this. I'm sure some do give a shit, but I'm sure you think they mostly. The your, your point is like they mostly they don't care, right? Mostly not. No. Why would their organizations work then? Like, why would they actually help people to the scale yeah. that well, they, if they need don't to be care? Just stop trying to make me care if the people who actually believe in this. So you are ultimately saying you don't care. Then that's what you're saying. But you said you do care earlier. So I'm operating on the basis that you said you care. So I'm talking to someone who cares, not someone who no, doesn't. No, no, care. I don't care to do it your way. I don't care to do it your way. But so your I'm way is literally not... just doing it the same way. Your way is like private philanthropy or like, I guess, send them on a bus to Dallas, Texas to like live in a house that was built in 2013. <laughs> Which, of course, again, Which is, yeah, yeah. it's not even something that people can do or are doing and it won't happen regardless. So I'm just saying we give a fuckload of money to this government. I think like it should actually do shit that, you know, normal functioning operating governments do rather than like sit do around and give... do it by giving more money or you, you propose doing it with the current amounts we give. Um, you're not going to give more money to the government. I will give more money to the government. Yes. And people that are of my level of wealth and higher will give more money to the government. Yeah, certainly. And I think that that is fair. I uh, absolutely. I also think that the way I generate my wealth is by income. So I am giving a percentage of all of the amount of uh, revenue that I generate per year back to the government. It's more than 50%, I would say. Whereas most wealthy people that park all of their income, park all of their wealth in the stock market, don't. They pay an effective tax rate of like 3% to 5%. I'm paying 53% in California. I don't have a problem with that. And I will pay even more than that because I'm very fortunate. So you're happy to I'm pay very that lucky. Amount. You see what they're doing with our money right now. Yeah, as someone who pays a fuckload, as someone who pays a fuckload, and we have a $44 billion uh, surplus now, and that's only part of the reason why we can even have a discussion about like potential universal health care in the state. I'm an incredibly fortunate person. I can survive. I can be, I can live an incredibly comfortable existence. Uh, I didn't used to make a lot of money and I didn't understand it. And I used to believe what the fucking rich people said all the time about like how, oh, the government's taking more of my money. The government's taking more of my money. I'm here to tell you motherfuckers right now in the chat that will never make this amount of money in your entire lives. Every rich person is lying to you. They 100% could easily budget out another 10% of their fucking wealth and their yearly earnings back to the government. They just don't want to do it, okay? Because they want to keep as much money as possible. Partially, they don't want to do it because they think the government is not working for them or the government rather is not functional and it's, it's spending the wealth uh, in, a, in an unwise capacity. And but the real reason is because they just don't care. They don't care if you fucking die. OK, I'm telling you how it is as someone so, who does make a fuckload of money and as someone who gives a lot of money to the American government every fucking year. Most rich people do not give a shit. And that's why they're, they're so you're not saying giving you more want taxes. to give 10 percent more rather than. You'd rather just give more, keep everything we have and give more than reform how they're using what no, you're currently giving. No, of course I'm going to reform. No, no, no. no of course would I'm you rather do Howard. that rather than give more? No, I want to do both. I, I'm realistically speaking, I see how, how little capital gains taxes, like how I see how the truly wealthy, not people like actors, not people like celebrities, not people like doctors. I'm talking like actual fucking wealthy individuals. I see how they get taxed and the way that they get taxed. And I could easily do this too. I could so easily do this. I could just put literally every fucking dime I have in the, the stock market. That's it. Okay. Like I make some, I, I, I pay taxes on my income uh, right now from what I'm getting in revenue from Twitch and everywhere else. And then I park all of it after taxes in the stock market and then let that fucking accumulate every single year, 10%. Oh my Lord. Uh, and, and that would be great. So just let it sit. Don't take anything out. Park it. Okay. The way that rich people operate is exactly like that. And it is basically substituting actual taxes that you should be paying to the government to interest rates. If you even are paying any interest rates to a <laughs> bank. And it's just money going back and forth between financial structures rather than the actual government that should be adequately funded for whatever the fuck we want to spend it on. I also am not anti uh, revising the way we spend our money. I think we spend an insane amount of money having fucking 300 plus 400 plus that we know of military bases all around the fucking planet where we have no business being there. Fuck that shit. Take that off. 
we subsidize the military industrial complex we subsidize every facet of like american agricultural production with no returns on that investment we just do it unconditionally because capital owners have decided this is the way it's supposed to be there is not a single fucking part of the american existence of american economy or american industry that is not over reliant on government subsidies if all i'm simply stating is if we're going to give them money then we get ownership over it okay then we get a say if we give Boeing money, or if we give air, the airliner industry money, they don't get to fucking operate monopolies and charge whatever the fuck they want to you. They don't get to fucking keep consistently deregulating certain sectors that are supposed to, you know, improve the quality of, of your experience as a consumer. That's unacceptable. They can't constantly make financial decisions knowing full well that the government and the American taxpayer is going to bail them out every step of the fucking way. And th that's the reason why they can never have cash on hand and they can always engage in stock buybacks and they can do whatever the fuck they want because they know full well when shit hits the fan that they are a too big to fail sector or too important to the American national security sector that the taxpayers will fucking bail out. I think that's bullshit. I think we need to revise that. Fuck them. Jail them. Throw them in fucking jail. Kill them with capital punishment if you have to. If that's the, the way to fucking actually uh, to get anything done. Okay? I don't have a problem with any of this shit. But ultimately, I care about, you know, helping people. Sorry for fucking going on a, a major tangent here. But it is bullshit. Anyway. I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I, I, and you're at least, like, listening. But what, I, what we're doing right now is not working. <sighs> anyway, do you have any feedback on that? That was pretty good. At least, uh, you know, throw the gauntlet and like, let someone, you know, beat the shit out of their senator, at least. Like, come on, give me something, you know? The gauntlet and what was your other option? Gauntlet the and whip. the whip. Uh, the whip. Anyway, let's continue with the trans thing. With the sex that they have been biologically created as and assigned at birth based on their genitalia if they don't feel that way does dr phil do steroids he might i mean every every celebrity does gh it was my parents neighbor like where i was born they were neighbors really it's kind of funny i didn't say kill the rich Shut the fuck up bitch okay stop I'm talking about a legal system in place where if people who are routinely fucking over and, and actually in many instances murdering American workers, you know, they need to be punished by capital punishment. That's the only American way to do it. Then that's the only American way to do it. Talk about a legal process. America has capital punishment. I'm not saying like do anything else. Okay. That there's no construct that describes that experiences that. Well, that's got nothing to do with the reality. So you can feel however you want. I mean, what do you think about gay conversion therapy, by the way, which uh, Matt Walsh is apparently... Well, because they now say if a parent talks to their uh, child about their homosexuality in a way that's disrespectful or whatever, that counts as conversion therapy. It's not literally a camp. So what do you mean? that's the concern. Do you really think that Canadians are going to fucking uh, go into people's houses and be like, are you talking to you? Sorry. Are you talking to your gay child in a way that makes it seem like uh, fucking you're conversion. saying homosexuality is bad? That's conversion therapy. We're going to fucking throw you in jail. Is that what you think is going to happen? No idea. I don't know if the child's going to be reporting. And I think this seems a lot like the C-16 bill that Jordan Peterson went uh, famous for, where there was a gross bastardization of the actual legislation in place. And not a single person is going to go to jail over this. And it's actually about real conversion therapy and not like, uh, you know, parents talking to their a child notice how I it didn't, says i didn't even i saw that he tweeted about it i didn't get to even read the bill yeah notice how notice how he's talking about definition of conversion therapy right in front of you it says conversion therapy means a practice treatment or service designed to change a person's sexual orientation to heterosexual change a person's gender identity to cisgender change a person's gender expression so that it confirms the sex assigned to the person at birth repress or reduce non-heterosexual attraction or sexual behavior. so repress or reduce so if i'm talking to you if you come out as gay and we're simply having a conversation and that makes you feel unsafe am i <laughs> am i producing conversion therapy on you no of course not that would be ridiculous and not a single person i'm willing to bet a million fucking dollars not a single person will go to jail for what you just described unless someone is like actively and trying to fucking 
fail in the most edge case possible. That's the funniest part about like the trans issues that we were talking about earlier. It's literally always conservatives faking it just to show that people fake it. It's the like, rape motherfucker, case you're in Virginia the one who faked was it. faking the rape case where Wait, the what? guy raped a girl in a school bathroom, transferred schools, raped another girl that was faking it. I have it. no idea what you're talking about, but that's rape and that's illegal regardless. There's no fucking like, oh, I'm trans. So then, well, the guy people... was trans. So okay, but that but Had that's a penis ridiculous. Was raping girls. I don't. I don't. I don't notice. But that's many illegal. Women. Yeah, oh, Christian, that's illegal. That's like that doesn't matter if you're trans or not. That's just fucking rape. That's illegal. But you said you said our concerns with the trans issue. No, that is, person is, is a rapist. Up. No. no, that 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 it's not made. That up person is not a rapist. Like that that is person is not on. a rapist because they're trans. That person is a rapist because they're a rapist. Yes, and and had the person with the penis not been in women's locker rooms, doubt what those girls would have been raped in the locker room. That is an insane take. The ninety nine point nine percent of trans people are not going around raping you. You're like talking about one fucking person. You oh, it's just realize? one. Just forget it. So it's not a. It's not a concern. It's just one. No, it's not. That's it's a not separate a concern. concern. That's a, a concern. separate concern. It's not a concern when they counted him as being trans simply because he said and identified as. Being but it doesn't trans. matter. That doesn't matter because the the offending sensibility there is the violation of the law. There is not him fucking faking being trans. It's him being a rapist. That like, what do you mean? There's no like get out of jail free card because he was. Did he get out of jail? Um, he raped one girl. They they smothered the reports. He transferred to another school, raped another girl. So okay, yeah, I don't so even know the, the details of the story. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the details of the story. But I'm. It doesn't matter. Ultimately, that is literally quite literally a person who violated the law. You can't like rob a bank and be like I'm trans, and then they're like, okay, uh, I guess we're gonna let you go. It doesn't work that way. And especially what you are engaging in is something that has been used towards black people regularly and still to this day is used towards black people. Something used towards gay people regularly. Yeah, it's today. a lot different than men going into women's restrooms. No, women's it's like restrooms. it's literally pointing to someone and being like, that person is violent because they're black. That it's different than is, that person is violent because they're violent and engaged in a fucking violent in action. The women's locker room with a penis because they said they were a woman and were allowed to go in. That is not the idea that like a person who's a serial rapist only was able to rape because they were able to go no, into a woman's oh, locker no, room is no, insane. Of course not, but- Like, you think that's the reason? You think but, that's the but only- But do we just say, hey, just let them in because like, it could have been, it, that those cases could have been prevented if he was not in the locker room. Also- You think he wouldn't have raped someone? Don't know, he... don't know. Those two girls wouldn't have been raped and those are the two we know of that he raped. You don't even know that, rape. by the way. You have no idea. Yeah, we that. have no idea if he raped anyone else. The no, no, I'm saying like, like you don't even know that that it like is is specific to him being able to be inside of a locker room. Like that's that's you don't stop sexual assaults from happening. Be, like by saying that I totally someone who saying. identifies as trans can't be in a you're women's total, locker room. You're told you're 100 like, percent dead on those two cases and those girls who are now traumatized would not have been raped in the locker room. By him. Okay, so they would have the locker room. Okay, what you are failing to understand, I think, or actually, it seems like you do understand my point, is that you're saying he could have raped them outside behind. Yeah, the, of course, that, that person's the... a rapist. That's separate. Trying to desperately take an example of someone behaving in a criminal capacity and in a, in a rapist, and then talking about their uh, potential, uh, their their potential uh, for being trans or not. Uh, is is insane. It's the same as saying gay men are pedophiles. I didn't think he raped. It's the same them as like saying black men are violent. Though. It's the, literally the same shit. It doesn't matter. You're trying to get other people, and especially a lot of other people, purposely are doing this. And I don't know if you're purposely doing this or not, but a lot of people do this on purpose. They did it for gay people, and they said gay men are pedophiles. Nambla is a gay thing. That like pedophilia is a sexuality. And, and they did this and they still continue to do this for black men in general where they say black men are violent, they're aggressors. That person is doing this because they're black and constantly and routinely uh, play up that role when it has nothing to do with it. It's just that person did a crime. Crimes in 90% of the circumstances are a consequence of your material conditions, your upbringing. Oh, and you raped you them because of, because of material no, that per right. I, I can't speak for that individual in most, but in the 10% of instances, and this is not an exact fucking... A number that I'm giving you, there is also antisocial personality disorders that we still currently, with our level of medical knowledge, uh, cannot treat or cure. There is also that as well. I'm not saying that it's just because, like, 
people are doing it because they're fucking born into a shitty situation. There are obviously other instances as well. But no matter what we're talking about, that person being trans or not being trans did not play a role in this whatsoever. You cannot legislate uh, uh, like trans women using uh, the the women's restroom by saying there's one person who did a rape and they said they were trans. And that's why like we can't have trans women in women's restrooms. No, no. But you said we only are our concerns about trans issues are totally you know, outlandish. So I just used an, a recent example that happened. That I was just bringing that so up. So you just like randomly brought up an instance where someone is... Yeah. Someone yeah. claimed to be trans and then did two I don't rapes. know if he claimed, if he actually <laughs> genuinely believed it. I don't know what the issue was, but... Reason says... Reason.com says, Conservatives wrongly portray the Loudoun County sexual assault as a transgender bathroom issue. The perpetrator does not target a random student and he did not choose the girl's bathroom because of his gender identity. In June, a male student with a skirt reported that this is reason.com. This is a libertarian uh, uh, outlet for the record. In June, a male student in a skirt reportedly assaulted a female classmate in a public bathroom in Loudoun County, Virginia. It was a story that appeared to confirm conservative media's worst fears about how predatory men could theoretically take advantage of accommodations for transgender people in order to harm young girls. And it touched off a wave of protests with the victim's father, Scott Smith, at the center of them. But it was substantially misreported in order to fit a conservative social agenda. Anyone on the right makes a habit of complaining, often justifiably, about the mainstream media gullibly succumbing to viral stories that fits their priors ought to denounce this as well. Smith, the father, was arrested for loudly protesting at the school board meeting. Cops bloodied him, placed him in handcuffs, and charged him with obstruction of justice and disorderly conduct. When it later emerged that Smith was angry with district officials because he thought they weren't doing anything about his daughter's rape, he became a conservative folk hero and was interviewed repeatedly by right-leaning media. The Daily Wire led the charge, seizing on an opportunity to embarrass both the mainstream media and federal government for portraying hostile parents as akin to domestic uh, terrorists. The Daily Wire's interview with Smith portrayed the idea that the daughter's assailant was gender fluid as, the cent as central to the story. The implicit idea is that the perpetrator wore a skirt in order to gain access to the women's bathroom at the Stonebridge High School and carry out the attack. Over the summer, Loudoun County approved a new policy making it easier for trans individuals to use the bathroom of their choice, and thus a connection was established between this policy and what happened to Smith's daughter. The policy wasn't actually implemented until August, it turns out. But even if the school had begun enforcing it before that, there's no reason to think that the assailant's actions had anything to do with the accommodations for trans people. So this event actually took place before they even uh, created that policy. So once again, this was a person who wanted to fucking rape a woman, or rape a, a, or assault. It doesn't say rape. I don't know if this is sexual assault, uh, but assault a female student and conservatives took that and fucking post hoc made this association that like it was actually about the fucking gender uh, bathroom policies. And this happens all the fucking time. And that's because the assailant and the victim had a relationship and met in the bathroom for sexual activity previously. On Monday, the teenage victim of the Stonebridge assault testified that she and her attacker had agreed to meet up in a school bathroom on a date of the assault. She testified they had not explicitly discussed having sex beforehand. The teen testified as she arrived first and chosen to go to the girls' bathroom because the two always had met in the girls' bathrooms in the past. When the boy arrived, the teen testified he came into the handicapped stall she was in and locked the door. The two talked before the girl testified and the boy began grabbing her neck and other parts of her body in a sexual manner. She testified she told the attacker she was not in the mood for sex, but he forced himself on her. Okay, it was a sexual assault. Um, uh, that doesn't count as rape? That's rape. No, that is, yeah. I said it was sexual assault. I, I, Because it originally said assault, so I didn't know if that was the details or not. But it 100% was. He flipped me over, I was on the ground, couldn't move, and he sexually assaulted me. This has absolutely nothing to do with the person being potentially gender fluid or anything like that. This is a person that didn't even have access into a women's restroom specifically because they were uh, uh, gender fluid or anything like that. This happened prior to that actual uh, incident. This happened prior to that actual fucking situation. And it completely, once again, uh, it, it proves the point I was making, which is that like, that's a rapist. That is a person who did a rape. Okay, that has nothing to do with them being gender fluid or being able to gain access into a bathroom or not. Yeah, and like <sighs> most rapes are like between two people who know each other. Right? Exactly. Meaning that like, yeah, you you're saying like, oh, uh, this is a girl that wouldn't have been raped if there wasn't this bathroom thing. But this this like interrelationship rape, like he could have done it in a fucking bedroom. He could have done it in a fucking anywhere. He could have done it in an alley. The point was that he knew the victim and, like, unfortunately did something fucking horrible to her. But 
the fact that it's a bathroom, like, it, it, he's still a rapist. Yeah. Regardless. And the main problem is, is the rape in that situation. And except conservatives will use stories like this to say trans bathroom bills are bad and they will push for more legislation on fucking random bullshit that literally impacts zero fucking individuals. Like, it just makes like five trans students' lives worse, okay? That's it. And it can, and it further justifies them getting fucking absolutely owned by all of their classmates non-fucking stop for just being trans. And it has like no genuine material impact any other way. But, and, and conservatives will advocate for this agenda rather than like actual fucking bills that uh, would combat uh, sexual assault in any meaningful capacity. If conservatives truly cared about fucking uh, rapes, and raping of women, they would stop raping women when they fucking do it at all of their goddamn parties uh, uh, whenever the fuck they get together. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's like, it's like talking about fucking Brock Turner on the one hand and saying like, that's actually, uh, it, it's good. The justice was served. Or talking about the numerous other instances where people straight up get away with fucking rape and then holding this one issue up. It's the exact same energy as saying, I care about fucking women's sports and the sanctity and the integrity of women's sports. And when I tell you like, okay, what if it get, they get more ratings and they get more money as a consequence of that? You say, no, I still don't want trans people to fucking participate. No, I said participate. I care about the quality of opportunity to compete in the sport. To compete in the sport. It doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. Um, it's just, it's just like, try, it, it's just trying to justify Massage. why you feel a certain way that you do about trans people and look and this is something i do this is something i talk about all the time okay like i i i used to have transphobic uh, opinions like i've said some transphobic shit in the past right and i get it I, like we grow up in this rigid binary understanding of gender every facet of our lives tells us that like your sexuality and your sex your your sex uh, associate that you were assigned at birth is the most important thing. If you're a man, you get fucking a certain set of toys. You, if you're a boy, you get a certain set of toys. If you're a girl, you get a certain set of toys. And that's unchanging. And you have to fit that rigid binary, right? So when someone comes along and says, actually, everything you knew about yourself and everything you knew about how the world operates is fucking wrong. Actually, this is how it works. Then that breaks your fucking brain. That's precisely why so many trans people themselves are uh, often uh, experiencing internalized transphobia. Like that they, they themselves are fucking transphobic and then they realize like, oh shit, maybe I'm trans. Like it's a it's it's normal because it's normalized as normative. The normative position is to be like kind of transphobic. Um and that's precisely why I'm I'm understanding to a certain degree of people when they're like questioning these sorts of things. But uh when you take it one step further and are literally like more obsessed with what trans people are doing than other fucking trans people then it's like okay you're obsessively and pathologically following everything the trans people are doing so you can fucking develop an argument about like why trans people shouldn't do this why trans people shouldn't do that and they actually shouldn't do this either like we started off with a fucking sport competition argument and we've moved on to the bathrooms and in every step of the way it all just comes down to I just don't want trans people to exist in society. No, that never they can just said like that. go away. No, nope, and... you can totally exist. You can play with Barbies. You can whatever. You're not a woman. See, but that's what I'm saying. But that that's where it comes from. Like it just still comes down to. And if, and if trans you women think are not a woman, women, that's great. You're a trans woman. You're not a woman. That's why you have a trans in front of your name because you're not a woman. I mean, they're they're still women. Trans women no, are still you're a women. Trans woman. Or you wouldn't be called a trans woman. You'd be called a woman. I mean, but they are. Trans then women why are them called. A trans woman, then what's a woman? What is a the woman? The distinction between we still trans have not women gotten and. To the definition. So maybe we should hear from them what they think about Okay. Is. Well, we'll watch. But again, insane. like after that entire conversation, you're still going nope. back to like trans women are. Because are you not took women. it to. You, they can't exist in society or whatever. Here. You're welcome I mean, to look, exist in society. Like, do you think that. I mean, this, this person, like. Here, I, I use this example as well, but like here, there you go. Like, like would womanhood you, isn't based. Would on you, what you okay? Would like. you consider this okay? But like, would you consider this person a man? Would you say that's a man when you like? Let's say you're at a fucking bar, okay? Looks like a woman. This person, I'm sure, we'd have so fun at lunch. Okay, okay, hold shopping. on, hold on. But like, but like, right. listen, 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 listen. You know where I'm going with this. You've had this conversation before with other people. You see this person at a bar, okay? They have a a uh, yellow jacket on. 
okay? You need to point them out to your friend. Do you say that man with the yellow jacket? But I, I call trans people, I call them she, her, I don't go into the neo pronouns, whatever, but I'll either call them their name, their chosen name, or, I mean, I would call her a she. Like, it, I'm not at okay, that so you point, get it. so I would say that, but so you get it. I don't think you're a real woman, no. So you don't think she's a real woman? No, this person I don't. is. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, and, and the reason for that is what? Because, like, the gender that they were assigned at yeah. birth? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't know what to tell you then. Like, I, this is not a metric that you would uh, abide by for any other circumstance. You would just, when someone tells you, when I told you my name is Hassan, you didn't assume, no, he's probably lying to me. His name is Jonathan. I'm going to fucking call him Jonathan. You were like, no, that's but Hassan. But I don't think it's something you can choose. That's the difference. I don't think you get to choose your gender, so... But like this, but you also understand that this person quite literally is a woman, and you would abide by that. Quite literally, no. Unless they transitioned they... into being okay, but 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 like you understand woman, that that's a woman. Like you would point tr- to them and say that's a woman. I wouldn't because of how they look. Even though how you look does not determine whether you're a man or a woman. Why well, determine how wait. I perceive you? But just because I perceive you that way doesn't mean you're literally that. So I, I, yeah, I, I think there's it. a there's a there's a breakdown in in. And what we are have what we're talking about because like you literally understand that we make determinations think- we make determinations on like what we think people are by looking at them and the context clues in this circumstance absolutely fit that and everyone would look at you like you're a crazy person if you were like that man over there is wearing a fucking yellow jacket you know what i mean they, everyone would look at you like what the fuck are you talking about there's no man there right and the but reason just like, for that okay, is because the Kardashians one time dressed themselves up as old people and went on a tour and they seriously looked like old people. The makeup they were presenting as old people. They weren't 70 years old. They looked like old people. Anyone, anyone would have thought Chloe was a grandma. Know, they... <laughs> they, Chloe wasn't a grandma. She wasn't a 70 year old woman, even though she looked just like one. So no, if I was a random person on the street, I would have said, oh, look at that grandma Jenny. She looks like she's 70. She's totally old. She's she's a um, elder, elderly person. I mean, there's hella- That doesn't mean they are. Okay, but there's like, like- Andy Milanakis is a great example of this. Like there are people with uh, genetic conditions, for example, that quite literally do not exactly. look like that, that feeds the age that they are. Point. That feeds into my that, point. That, that just because not. you look that way doesn't mean you're actually that. So just because Chloe looked old, didn't make her old. Just because this person looks old, doesn't make them old. Just because you look like a woman, doesn't the make age, you a woman. The age and the circumstance is not a changeable factor about yourself. Just that like is your like, gender. no, what I'm saying is we use context clues. And when someone says like, I'm actually, you know, 30 years old, you're wrong, then that's fine. You say they're 30 years old. You don't turn to Andy Milanagas and go, no, I'm sorry, you're not actually 30 years but, old, but you're that, 13. But that's just like when Chloe dressed up as an old woman. She could have told anyone, I'm 65, I'm 70, and they would have been like, oh, cool. She's not 65 or 70. Okay, but the difference is, I know, but the difference way. is like, this person is a trans woman. And is yeah, she's a, a woman. trans woman. And, and, and therefore a woman. And therefore so a you woman. saying like, oh, well, technically when they were born, it's like different, doesn't change that reality. Especially because that's not the same standard that you would apply to like women before they get their first period. I totally, or intersex I totally women that you had no woman. idea were intersex. I totally or, think she's a trans woman. I think there's a difference between a trans woman and a woman. Okay. You're not a woman, you're okay. a trans woman. Also one is a measurement of universally understood measurement of time versus the other is gender, which you and I both understand is uh, greatly dependent on social context. Like a universally applied measurement of time is not the same as social context that we absolutely need that changes from society to society that has changed throughout time. That's the difference. Like, anyway, um, ultimately, I think you and I still agree that, uh, that, that like this person is still a trans woman and therefore a woman. Oh no. But like, but trans woman. Yeah. So, so like what you, when your mom goes through menopause, like she's not a woman, you're going to call her something different because mm-hmm. like she no longer has the reproductive capability. Women that have like conditions where they can't have uh, where they can't reproduce are not women. No, like that's not you when never period you don't control people's like pussies. Period. Well, has we're talking about the reproductive capabilities like no, if, it has nothing to do. There's lots of women that can't reproduce. No. OK, they so still have certain chromosomes. So wait, are still... trans people. So then trans people that actually got bottom surgery, then they're women or no, they're still no, not women. No, that's not. It's a fake. It's a fake vagina. So no, that's not. OK, uh, again, I guess I'm failing to understand this because like you are not applying to the same universe. You are not applying universal standards. 
that you yourself claim to admit exists or you, that you claim exists like what? Like what? On, on womanhood. I, I, I you, you actually say, define you woman. Say, I never define I mean, it's like, it's like kind of, it's like... It's insane it's like, because I said it's a trans woman and y'all are demanding whoa, 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 that that's no, no, a woman. Well, well, I mean, she's right, a trans right, woman. Right, right. Y'all are trans demanding woman. that it's, it's, like, it's, 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 it's the like, same as a biological woman. It's not the same. Right, well, it's impossible to like get to like a to make a logical proof yeah one way or the other that, that would like so get, i'm happy but there is a but there is not one that, that would get you one. that would get you there because like the only reason you would say this is just like just to be like purely antagonistic because like it truly it doesn't because apply, it doesn't, vibe, it doesn't hold on hold on it. because it doesn't apply to anything in your life what are you like are you you were going to knock a woman up, but you were going to get fooled by a trans woman? Like, no, no, it's just about it has no application. It has, it's no, just it has about no standing application. For the truth. It's straight up. It straight up comes back to the it's fucking literally just to be women's competition shit. Yeah, exactly. It's, right. a, it's, it's a women's like, competition. So it's like shit. Not, no logical proof could like get you along the other way. Like you're just going to say that because that's just the position you're at. Nothing else could make you like not say that. It's the same thing with like why you you know love Israel. Like it has no application to your life, but it just it's something you decided that you've like to care you, about, you like yeah. to, you like to say as like part of a performance. Uh no, just like people getting bombed in other countries doesn't affect me, but I don't want to bomb people in other countries. Yeah, so one is an issue one is I stopping one is stopping additional harm from occurring, whereas this one you can't really pinpoint a singular uh, piece of harm that has actually happened, which is precisely why you rely no, on just like standing for you truth. rely just on not, no no no, but, that's, but hold on, you rely on media reports that are completely bastardized to develop a narrative that, that trans people existing are somehow a negative to society or they're a burden to Never society. Never said that. Just said they weren't women. I know, but you brought up the fucking Loudoun County example. Yeah, because that was an example, complete, but just but it wasn't an example as we found it out. It was an example for what I was saying, but it's still it's an example of what that a trans woman isn't a woman. Okay, but it wasn't I, according. All to I'm that simply article, asking, all I'm simply asking for you is to examine why you constantly are seeking out this sort of information to to form a particular narrative, and and uh, and and whether or not that is like in any meaningful capacity like doing something good on the planet. I personally don't think so. Again, I think. I just, I, you, I think you like seeking this, seeking out this court kind of information, like you will hear this all the time from the Daily Wire, from all sorts of conservative outlets. They will constantly fucking tell you, no, that's that, that doesn't matter. Here's a trans person that did something evil. Here's a trans person that did something evil. Like ultimately, it doesn't matter. It, the just, Daily Wire had Blair White on, a trans woman, to come speak and tell her story. They're yeah. clearly not uh, trying to demonize all trans people. Yeah, that so, is no. that is yet another goalpost movement. Oh, so moment. when they have someone on, no, it's just a goalpost. No. It's just that no, they had someone on to tell her story. I mean, Christian, so there was a time. Make... There was quite literally a time when you physically could not be a conservative because it would not fly. That has changed. So now, oh you no, I would have been be... a slave to the Democrats. Like. Sure, certainly, yes, that yeah, as well. Yeah, no, things have changed. Like, Great. But that's my point, is that like people, the conservative movement adapts to the new social standards so that they can continue propagandizing and attacking whatever the fuck no, they can. No, you just said the Daily Wire was demonizing and trying to make all trans people they are. seem like they're bad. They're literally they're using... literally platforming a trans woman to tell her story. Okay, but and like... she got so many fans from that interview. So no, not true. Yeah, because, okay, conservatives and also... And said they're just Conservatives use Candace Owens to quite literally say every fucking racist thing they ever yeah, want no. about black people we're just not going to agree so let's watch it like we're not we're not even meeting. okay i'm not even trying to uh, i'm not trying to like get candace you to agree owens with me i'm just trying yeah, to show no. you the flaws in the way that you're uh, not you're a flaw thinking. and candace isn't propped up to spew racism <laughs> okay i mean come on candace owens is a vehicle to say the most racist fucking like shit what? that like white what's people want to say that she said uh, she regularly says things like black people that are victims of police brutality fucking deserved it. She will point oh, if to you like, shoot, if you shoot she will a cop point or to, try to stab a cop, yeah, you do deserve it. She will point to instances like even George Floyd to villainize and vilify George Floyd's Just background talking about his past. in an effort. Just discussing his past. You and I both know that that is bullshit. We're not okay? allowed to talk about his past. That's not about talking about his past. It's a way to develop a narrative to justify about black people. The state, yeah, not at all. It to to justify yet another state execution. Okay, yet another state execution of a a, a black person in broad fucking daylight. 
Watch transactivist response to allegations of inappropriate contact with minors brandishes a legal weapon. That's yeah, not. She was interviewing another trans woman. They're that's talking what I'm about saying. Like, they're, I know they're using. First of all, I don't even know who the fuck that other person is, but she's like a fucking uh, a trans psycho, woman. right? She's like a psycho. That's like a. This is like yeah, a well, well known thing, like in Canada, that you need is like a fucking psycho. Yeah, yeah this is like the yeah. fucking person that they use. Blair White and Jessica Yaniv are literally two sides of the exact same coin where like Jessica Yaniv and like all the psychotic shit that she does is utilizes a uh, weapon against trans people and Blair White is the trans person, the token trans that will say the transphobic things. Not a token things. trans, just has her own thoughts and is interviewed about oh, her thoughts. Oh my god, yeah. It's just so strange that always like the, the you know, they all of the unique individual opinion uh, trans folk or or people like Candace Owens are just, you know, paid professional media operatives. It's so interesting how that works, you know? It's just, look, it's a way to get the bag, okay? That's just how no, it is. No, but so so when people on your side do it, it's not paid operative. So y'all are allowed to platform anyone. No, we have paid not... operatives. We have uh, paid operatives on the fucking, on the, uh, what do you call it? On the fucking liberal side too, even on the leftist side probably. Maybe not as much on the leftist side because it's not like, is not super uh it's not exactly a way to make a lot of money there's like a couple people like myself felix maybe like 10 fucking people that have actually been super successful uh being able to reach a gigantic audience but we don't have the same media infrastructure that you admitted exists on the republican side but yes there are certainly liberals oh, who do this shit way more media than we have maybe not news media wait what do you, you mean we have made way more media. Liberal, oh, maybe not progressives, but liberal yeah. What are you media? talking about? I, that, sure. I'm, I'm specifying. Uh, uh, yes, there are certainly liberals who make a lot of money, fucking saying some shit, and they might not believe it, or they might actually believe it. Ultimately, what I care about is what the outcome of that fucking uh, propagandizing is. Um, yeah, and Candace Owens even fucking insulted Ahmad Arbery. So I, I don't think you fucking think that the Ahmad Arbery uh, situation was like. Like, she literally cast doubt on Ahmad Arbery, who was jogging. But in jogging, the, like breaking into homes? Stop. As you don't, as he no, stop. You don't believe that. Yeah, I do. No I fucking do. shot. You are going crazy. Radlib on this shit. He has a point on these things. Chill out, man. He's a guest. What? What the fuck? Oh, he's just transphobic. Never mind. Okay. I thought he was like literally, oh yeah, okay. That's just like, he's just transphobic. I thought he was also saying like, no, he has a point on this. Like Ahmad Arbery actually was, uh, deserved to be fucking executed. No one said he deserved to be killed. Oh, okay. What, why did you bring that? Like he- No, you said Candace Owens was flaming Ahmad Arbery. Bringing up his past isn't flaming Bringing up what He past? did it. He bring had broken into homes previously. So how is that bringing up his past? Dude, come on. You know what that is. You oh, know he didn't actually is. do it. That's what you're saying? You know what that fucking you're is, dude. You're saying he didn't actually do it. It doesn't matter because the people that fucking chased him down had no idea. Sure, she can still bring up his past. No, but the reason why they do that is to justify... You think it's all the... George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, all these people have a criminal past. Rayshard Brooks. Do you think... Okay, don't be a pussy and fucking tell me straight up. Do you think George Floyd deserved to be executed by Derek Chauvin? No, but had he cooperated, he wouldn't have been executed. Oh my God, dude. Oh my they God. They were kind to him insane. for literally eight minutes, however long. We're so kind. Do you need a water? Do you need us to roll down the window? Nope. Wouldn't cooperate. Wouldn't cooperate. Wouldn't cooperate. No, he didn't deserve to be executed. No one said he deserved to be executed. Had what about Ahmaud Arbery? Should Ahmaud Arbery have cooperated? No, he didn't deserve what he got. Of course not. So you see, but you, are you saying George Floyd deserved what he got? Because it seems like you're saying that there's a distinguished... Uh, no, there's but there was no factor. opportunity for Ahmad. It's a completely different circumstance. Had George Floyd cooperated, he wouldn't have been executed. Ahmad Arbery, no... I mean... That there was, was just... no way out in the Ahmad Arbery situation. So why would you bring up potentially what Ahmad Arbery could have done in the past? And then also tie it back to the same narrative that... Is it an accident that because every single at the black time person when that she gets was, killed? When she was bringing that up, there were rumors that he had broken into a house. So she looked into his criminal past, brought that up. That's bullshit. That is. We're not such allowed to bullshit. bring up. We're not allowed to bring up you, black people. We can bring up only, white people. No, you only do that if you are trying to fucking create a pretense of doubt 
that even the fucking and it racist to criminal justice system, black. even the racist criminal justice system did not agree with in fucking Georgia, by the way. Well, like actually, that's not true. They did originally agree with it, uh, and and then the person who threw the case away uh, is now punished uh, and is uh, under. Uh, a separate trial for quite literally allowing these fucking racist murderers to get away with doing a fucking modern day in broad daylight filmed lynching on a black man who did not deserve to fucking die. Um, there, I just don't, I, I don't believe it. Like, I, I just, I don't believe that, uh, that you truly believe that all of these people are just like accidentally or uh, just randomly bringing up uh, people's past. I don't think that people deserve to die in the hands of the state, no matter what their fucking background is, by the way. Oh, that is you, a, if you go to shoot a cop, I do think the cop deserves to protect them. Except, except in the shit. overwhelming majority of instances, it's not actually an armed assailant that's being shot. It's unarmed people, especially when we're talking about black people, 21 times more likely that they are unarmed and being killed by police officers. And the attitude that we have in American society about why that's justifiable is exactly the same attitude that Candace Owens is advocating for whenever she does that white supremacist agitprop in a way that like we would literally cringe if a white person was doing it because we would understand that that person is being racist, but she gets the way with it because she's a black woman. That's it. That is literally the same exact fucking narrative that like black people are violent, black people are inherently like dangerous. No one they're said they're that. aggressive. No, no because up. because they're because Candace Owens is too much of a pussy to fucking say it out loud. No, maybe because, that's what you think. I, I, she's never no, even, because she's never edged that no, way. No, so because maybe white you people know you people can't are say that. And no, white people, you you know for a fact that if so you say that, up crime everyone statistics is, and bringing up someone's past isn't trying to say all black people. Bringing are up violent. crime statistics in an effort to justify over policing the black community is literally fucking not an justifying. Ouroboros. Uh, it, it is a cyclical argument. And the cyclical Are we argument. gonna finish the video? Like, I mean, at this point, it's like it doesn't even. I mean, you don't even like, want to watch it now. Not really. No. You don't want to watch his tape. No, I like. I, I can guess what it is. Yeah, I mean, it, I'll tell you. I, uh, I could. I think I could guess. Just because I say I'm a walrus doesn't mean I'm actually a walrus. I'm a human. Well, let's being. hear what he has to say, and maybe the maybe the trans couple has a good. Yeah, well, I do have to. I do have to, I have to. Do, I do have to go in like four minutes. Okay. But, I can kind of guess what he's going to say. I can kind of guess. Well, Dr. Phil's been doing a lot of this lately. Let's he cheer had, on uh, the trans couple. Didn't Maybe he have the have CRT have guy on too? He had the CRT guy on. He's yeah. doing and every, the... every hot button social issue. And he's having like one guy from one side. Yeah. One hey, that I feel. Yeah. And the person they have usually on the other side is like some fucking random person who is that. And then the other guy is like literally a fucking think tank operative. The CRT guy straight up was like a conservative think tank guy, right? Yeah, no. Well, he what he was, he kind of like watched. I out. saw what, a black woman and a black CRT guy. So what are y'all talking? About? Like a tomato plant, but that doesn't mean they're actually in those things. So your your self perception, you can have whatever self perception you want, but you can't expect me to take part in that self perception or to take part in this kind of charade, this theatrical production. You don't get your own pronouns, just like you don't get your own prepositions or your own your own adjectives. You know, it's like if I were to tell you, my adjectives are handsome and brilliant, and no matter whenever you're talking about me, you have to describe me as handsome and brilliant because that's how I identify. It makes no sense. You don't get your own pronouns. These are that's 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 grammar. That's language. So you think it's a delusion? Someone is self-delusional. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's delusion. It could be a mental illness. It could be a, it's it's a lot of different things. We, we, like Matt Walsh is like, I don't care what you say your name is. I'm not gonna call you that. You don't get that, okay? I'm gonna call you whatever I think your name also, is. Also, like children, all, just literally in language, everyone gets their own pronouns. Yeah, he's just against the concept of saying he or she or anything. Yeah, he, he's just it's it's so silly. Wow. You know, there, there's also just a basic confusion that all kids have. Like that's why when you hear when you when you hear someone a parent say, "Oh, my four year old." Uh, son came came to me and said that uh, I'm a girl now, and so that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna raise him as a girl. No, you're, you're a four year old. I have four kids. When a four year old boy comes to you and says, "Oh, I'm a girl," here's a good follow up question: What is a girl? Ask him what he means by that. What do you mean by girl? And when you when you ask him that, here's what he'll tell you. He will tell you what he really means is that he he wants to do some of the things that girls do, like play with the dollhouse, or or you know he likes the color pink. That's fine. And when he does that, you need to beat him until they're not, okay? Obviously, the only way to fucking, the only way to, the only yeah. way to fucking get him right, okay? So that there could be more fucking Matt Walsh's. Play with the dollhouse. 
Yeah. But you're still a boy. Need to lock them in a non. That's a question I would yeah. like to throw out to you know, other members of the panel. Actually, because just like the four-year-old can't answer what is a girl, well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? All right. No, I can't. I gotta. I gotta. Because it's not for me. Are you out? Yeah. I gotta. Oh, I gotta. Shit. I got an engagement. I gotta get to. All right. Fancy. I don't right. define fancy. You know. <laughs> For coming, Felix. I hope uh, it was you know. So nice Goodbye, to Chad. Meet you. Good to meet you. I'll see you later. See you. Are you going back to New York? Nah, not yet. Got a little bit. Got got a few weeks more here. Hassan, I'll see you soon. Peace. Good to meet you. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Are we gonna finish the video? In the yeah. No, I I can finish the video. I mean, it's fine. Good to Me to say. I... What is this? What? Watch and awe as this gerbil says. No, I don't want to do the Candace Owens shit anymore, dude. It's like, it, it, it's just, it, that is like, Let's so. Let's just finish. That is so obviously like a particular thing. I feel like, you know how you feel like I'm denying reality when I'm talking about like, you know, trans women's existence Oh, I know that's how you feel about, that's No, 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 but it, 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 I literally feel like, it, you know, people are being crazy when they just look at Candace Owens and go, no, that's actually should be honest about it. Especially when considering the fact that, um, especially when considering the fact that like Candace Owens herself in like 2016 was anti-Trump and like quite literally won a fucking hate crime case against the state of Connecticut when she was a victim to a hate crime growing up and like all this other stuff. And then all of a sudden over the course of like a couple months, she becomes this, like major fucking pro-Trump person. Get the fuck out of here. That's a, that's a op. That's 100% a person that's like making a living off of this. Anyway. Womanhood looks different for everybody. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, what, well, that's how do you, how do you define a someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. Someone who's, you know, here's the thing. When you're, when you're female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's, in, it's down in, it's, it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. Interesting. So I'm trying to understand. I like that when he tried to reduce it, though, it's still fucking not definable, especially because, like, when you're talking about sex versus gender, and even in that circumstance, like, there are plenty of people that we 100% cannot comprehend whether or not they were actually fucking women or men. There are plenty of fucking intersex people, too, that, like, this dickhead would never be able to comprehend is a, a woman or man. It's just he's saying sex is whatever I fucking agree to that other biologists do not agree to. He's not even a fucking biologist. And and also, so you don't I will look back at like whatever the fuck from uh, throughout history and decide like this person is this sex. W what's your question? Oh, I was just going to say, so do you not believe in like biological sex either? Like, no, there is a question? there is a biological sex that uh, is, again, outdated not according to me but according to actual fucking biologists and i'm not talking about fucking bullshit evolutionary biologists like the eight fucking podcast owning biologists okay every fucking biologist that has ever come out against like the the actual biological sex straight the fuck up is like just a person that isn't actually a biologist or has that credentials at all and is just straight up a fucking grifter with a podcast it's just so strange to me that like all the actual fucking biologists that uh, don't believe that and don't say that are still doing biology and Brett fucking Weinstein, who's like an evolutionary psych guy, is uh, somehow a, a podcaster. So strange how that works. Uh, but I guess that's the only way to fucking, um, I don't know, spread the truth, right? So like having a, a certain chromosomes, especially considering that like especially considering that uh, intersex people do exist. And even then there are more intersex people than there are redheads. There are more intersex people than there are Jewish people on this planet. That does not mean that they're not valid or, or uh, you know, we should just like fucking throw them out in its entirety. Even, even our biological understanding of sex is outdated. If you were to think it's just male, woman, doesn't matter. Okay. Anyway, um, let's continue. And your definition is that a woman is someone who is female, you said, right? Correct, gotcha. is okay. a biological female. So what happens if we have 
maybe someone who is female, identifies as a woman, right? You know, cisgender woman, right? As you explained, as you just explained, that maybe doesn't have the ability to reproduce. Well, maybe doesn't well, have those organs that you're talking about well, that are reproductive well, organs. I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. you used the well, word. Well, so what did you mean when you said trans women are women if you don't know what it means? Right. So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who... That describes what? People who identify as a woman. I identify as what? As a woman. What is that? Was to each their own. Okay. Each woman, each man, each person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity. And Wait, we can tell skeletons were transgender too. 5,000 year old transgender skeleton discovered. I mean, it doesn't matter because then they'll say like, that's fucking bullshit. Okay? It, it like, you know, they'll, they'll just say it's like fucking woke activists. Define it differently. That doesn't, and so I'm trans women that. are women too. Wait, what? I didn't, I, was, was to like, each their own. Okay. Each woman, each man, each person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity and define it differently. That, that and so I'm trans women that. are women too. What is he saying? I can't understand what he's saying. He well, says, no. He, she, this individual said every person has a different relation with their gender. Uh-huh. And it, they is, get to pick it for their own. And so mm -hmm. then let's see what... He... But I don't understand what the fuck he's saying about it. Like he's... Term. It includes he asked people her who... that describes what? What does... People who identify as a woman. A woman. Identify as what? As a woman. What is that? Was to each their own. Okay. Each woman, each man, each person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity and define it differently. That doesn't, and so I'm trans women that. are women too. Okay. And you want to hold on. Just tell me again. You want to reduce. You, you listen, won't listen. even tell me you what you're asking. Yeah. So you want to reduce problem. women. You want to reduce men down to maybe just their genetics. Our gen Notice how when they asked Matt Walsh, what do you define as a woman? He also had no fucking adequate explanation for it. Because whoever tries to explain I mean, he that concept, he defined it in his no. He said a reproductive organ. There are people. There are women without reproductive organs in, that are still women. It's in your DNA. It's logged in. It's lo like there. No, he it's jumped. Simply a he, biological term. Yes, he jumped and also described it against the scientific consensus on the matter. He jumped and he went into a colloquial understanding that uh, it relies on antiquated social concepts that are Western centric for the most part, like that's contemporary Western society. And the reason why he had to do that, the reason why he had to do that is because there is no adequate way of explaining a concept that is otherwise a social concept so, that changes. So is there no difference? Like he tried according to, to that, then, then there's no difference between men and women, except social constructs. Is that what you're saying? There is the sex that we're talking about, what people consider to be the biological gender, which is not, um, even though it's not, even that is not uh, binary in the way that Matt Walsh is trying to defi define it. And then there is the gender. And the gender is like the sock that you put on your foot, okay? It's like the gender is, is the decisions that we make that signal to other people what we are or what we see ourselves. That's the main difference. Matt is using the social context cues to describe biological sex, but even biological sex itself is not as rigid in the way that Matt thinks it is. That's the problem. So he is getting away with this. The only reason why he's getting away with this is because plenty of people like yourself think that that is the reality, that that is the way that it works. So simply turning around and stating that you know define a woman you can't does not mean it might look like well, you won the fucking they, argument but it does not mean you actually won the the you you won anything like you said there is such a thing as objective truth right the objective truth in this situation is not who rhetorically overpowered the other side no, as a conservative I don't think commentator so at all. the objective yeah. truth still is something that like scientists agree and scientists don't happen to agree with Matt Walsh unless they are in a completely unrelated field and have a podcast where they are making a living telling people uh, that like the way that they feel is actually the truth. Okay, let's And everyone else is being a fucking woke justice warrior. The defined number of genders, I guess is six now. It doesn't fucking matter ultimately. 
uh, the defined like biological gender is six with uh, different kinds of chromosomes. Genitals no. are chromosomes, right? That's what you're what saying. You want to do is that, is that's what, what you what you day. want to do is appropriate women. You want to appropriate womanhood okay. and turn it into basically a costume that could be worn. I'm really Yeah, he's saying you want to appropriate womanhood into a costume that can be worn. But the way that he associates with womanhood is quite literally a costume. You have never actually checked someone's genitalia or rather asked them if they actually got a fucking surgery to even if you did check their genitalia to see if they got a surgery to change their genitalia or not before associating with them as a woman. You associate with people as uh, as women or men with context. We did this with the old associations are different than reality. Okay, but that can be but, different than reality. But because the concept of gender in and of itself, the concept of gender in and of itself is completely about social conditioning and social cues, then there is no reality there other than what people perceive you as because gender is a social construct and, and totally separate from sex uh, to begin with. It's a performance. Gender is always a performance. It will always be a performance. That's precisely why, I mean, and it doesn't have to be a good performance. If I wanted to look like a woman tomorrow, it would be kind of hard for me to do that. Let's be real, because of the our understanding of what the what like fits the concept of a woman is. Okay, it would it, you know it would it would not be a super easy performance for me. Okay, to do overnight, but it's still a performance that doesn't change that reality. <sighs> anyway, um, he, uh, Christian does believe that uh, gender dysphoria is a medically recognized condition. I think that's why he uh, likes uh, Blair White. Really concerned about what's going on in schoolrooms across the country. The entire gender pronoun situation makes me feel very upset. People may think that if you don't want to use the preferred pronouns that you're against gay people, this is 100% untrue. I am a huge advocate for gay people, trans people, and the like. Stacy and I both have children in the same school district. I learned that the teachers in my children's school were asking for the kids' preferred pronouns in the classroom. When I heard about this, it was extremely upsetting. <laughs> Last year, my son was given a homework assignment. I gave an example of a child not identifying with the gender that they're born with. That's like, do you, do you think that's oppression to be like, what's your gender so pronoun? That... Be honest, do you, do you think like asking kids that is like- No, but I think it's a weird question and you know why I think it's a weird question and I know why you don't think it's a weird question. I just want to watch the story and then analyze after we okay. get all the info. Is, is an example of look at the music that they're playing like oh my god i can't well, believe this it. is Dr. i can't believe it. i can't believe they asked their That's what their what gender pronouns everyone. are what the fuck <laughs> homework that was given to my eight-year-old son if a student is unsure of their place in the gender spectrum or is experimenting with different forms of gender presentation school uniforms can present a real challenge oh my gosh uh -huh. what is gender spectrum that's a great question my son was really confused. I feel like I'm ambushed because now I'm explaining to my son. He asked me, what does sexist mean? As a parent, I felt trapped. I felt I had to explain these concepts to my son. I felt like I was whittling away his innocence. This I love that like 90% of conservative gripes can be reduced to like, I don't know how to explain this to my son or daughter. And that's why it should not be taught in schools. It's like, <laughs> motherfucker, don't worry. They should teach it. So you don't have to, no, okay? No, no, we want to be involved. No, but it's like, but that's like literally the fucking same concept as like CRT as well, where it's like, oh, well, well I don't know. I, I heard something called CRTs being taught at schools and it fucking sucks. I don't know. It's making, it's making my, uh, you know, children uncomfortable. It's like, no, dude, you know, they just here. My 12 year old daughter had a science teacher ask the class about their preferred gender pronouns. I don't want a teacher talking to my child about gender pronouns. It is not appropriate. It's crossing a line. It's unacceptable. This is a parent-child <laughs> issue, not a teacher-child issue. I wanted my kids to have nothing to do with it. I had to pull both of my kids out of this school district. I've decided not to pull my children out of the school district, but I'm fighting for change. I've been attending school board meetings for about a year now. What's happening across the country is teachers could get fired if they use the wrong gender pronoun. That just seems wrong. This is my mission in life, 
to protect my children, and however I need to do that, I will. What Matt and I and a group of us are doing is we're working to have the school board okay, removed ready completely. For them to come. A lot of people I know, a lot Talk of parents I know, are afraid to speak up, and I speak for them, and I'm not afraid. Oh, we know you're not afraid. This woman has <laughs> never shut the fuck up, okay? She, she's ready to, she's she ready strikes to take me, it on. Yeah, she strikes me as a type of woman who definitely does not uh, ever... Back down. Definitely does not back down. And perhaps she Arno, should. how old is the baby <laughs> now? Oh, Sparrow's actually going to be four in February. Has Sparrow decided as... Oh, a gender? Yes. Oh, that's a great question. Uh, Sparrow is in a point of learning and exploration with a lot of things, including gender. Uh, language with children at four is very... Like, this shit, the, uh, this shit fucking annoys me so much. So that much. annoys you, too? No, it annoys like me because it's like, and... it's like, no, dude, he, here's why are... this annoys me, okay? Like, ultimately, some of these moms straight up do this, or dads straight up fucking do this, because they want to be on Dr. Period. Phil. Okay? Period. Okay? No, but it's like, but that doesn't change the reality that there are actually trans kids. Like, it's just, it doesn't matter. Like, it, there are real trans kids. Um, and even if this person is like, I'm not using gender uh, at all and like only using gender neutral fucking <laughs> pronouns when I'm like uh, educating my child, uh, it, it doesn't change the reality that there are still trans children, okay? It, it does not matter. It doesn't change the reality. It doesn't matter how weird they look. It doesn't matter how fucking- I didn't say she looked weird. You no, did. I'm saying like weird they sound or look. She sounds that like doesn't... a normal adult to me. No, no, there's no shot, okay? There's like a lot, this is a, this is a rad lib adult, okay? Like She's my- She's totally normal. I don't know why you came up with that. No, the this is like 100% the type of adult that is like, this is why they're, you know, this is an anecdote, okay? And and they can be as, uh, you know, strange as they want with the way that they want to teach their children, okay? Or educate their children. I'm sure they'll be great, okay? But they're doing this because they want to be a media personality, okay? They want to, they're doing this because they want to be a media personality. Do you think she can do it? you think she has what it takes? I mean, they are doing it right now. Okay, well, like, They're doing it currently. You know, they're figuring it out. And so, uh, currently, Sparrow uses he for everyone. No, it doesn't matter who, what their pronouns are, and we you know, mentioned it. They just call everyone he, rather not. They don't conjugate it correctly. They don't use him or his or anything. Just he for everything. So we joke that he is Sparrow's preferred pronoun, because that's what they use for everyone. Uh, as far as for themselves, though, um, they're not coming consistently saying, "I would like, you know, I want to be a boy or a girl," or "I feel like I'm non-binary." Um, we don't have heavy, in-depth, like overt communications. It's not like every morning I wake them up and say, all right, what's your gender today? Hoping they'll finally give me an answer. Um, so it, has, it doesn't come up like that. Okay, you decided this was important to leave unspecified, Bro, they named their child why. Sparrow, okay? It's like, that's automatic L, okay? I don't, I, they just it's like- It's cute, that's a cute name. Oh, okay, all right. Because of the fact that gender is so social and it is such a social construct. now. We say we shouldn't interact with one another differently because of our genders. Like everyone deserves the same respect and treatment. But it has been scientifically proven that children are interacted with very differently based on whether they are assumed to be a boy or a girl. You know, girl children are held more, boy children are given, you know, mechanical toys more often, all of these kind of examples and anecdotes. And I felt it was important for Sparrow to get the chance to figure themselves out without all of that pressure, intervention, and, and programming. It seems like we should just keep the dialogue going and, and hopefully find some middle ground. I have a question. Um, Arlo, you mentioned the, that you don't have your child discussing pronouns or figuring out their pronouns yet. And yet in school, our kids are being asked what their pronoun is. I'm confused about how that works. And then there's always this fluidity right around what pronoun you are each day. So it's constantly changing. How confusing. I think Poor what it kids. is. Oh, sorry. I think what it is, is that I sympathize with the hurt and distress that I sense from you all. Um, I also wouldn't want my child to learn things from their teachers at school that were topics I was uncomfortable with or I didn't know how I'd want to talk about them. Your children are going to need to know how to navigate a world. Bro, this person comes She's down to your like, neighborhood, you know there's a wall, there's a Whole Foods coming up soon, okay? <laughs> no, it's sprouts. This it's person sprouts. this person starts driving down your neighborhood, uh, rent's about to go up, Lord, okay? oh. I'm just letting you know. Period. And some vegan food shops. I mean, it doesn't matter because they're in sure. fucking, you know, Loden County, which is already rich as fuck. All those, like, 
disgusting rich fucking Virginia parents that are like so fucking jobless because they have so they're recipients of intergenerational wealth. They don't have to fucking work because the husband is at uh, we have Raytheon these right down the road. Uh, the we husband is at the fucking them. Raytheon burn uh, you know Afghan children factory making new lasers, new types of fucking weapons to like you know melt Afghan kids from fucking satellites. Uh, to the tune of seven hundred thousand dollars a fucking year, so the stay-at-home mom can fucking freak out by watching conservative television twenty-four-seven and literally give themselves like adult-onset schizophrenia and think that like QAnon is real just by watching television and having their brain broken about TV, so they can just you know they're bored and this is the way they fucking occupy their their time. Anyway. Um, in which non-binary there are two sides of the same coin by the way anyway transgender whatever people exist this is a great conversation to have at home out of the school this should not be part of the curriculum we're out of time but i, I thank everyone this was for... this is such a funny cut the way that they edited i know there was such good stuff they they left out for sure we didn't even get to see the parents um, coming a little hot man no he's just like i wanted to see what sparrow's parents take was about like uh, you know, asking kids what their uh, gender pronouns are. Which, by the way, what's the problem? Just say uh, uh, he, him, or she, her, if that's your uh, gender pronoun. Like, I don't understand. Practically, pronouns should only be introduced when kids enter adulthood. They should be free to be kids and decide when they are more mature and can clearly decide what they really want to be. This leads to regret later in adult life choices at force at early stage. <sighs> I think you should do whatever the fuck they want. Okay, like just let kids be kids. Uh, I think that's what that person is saying as well. If they operate outside of a binary and you get your kids outside of a binary, then the concept of preferred pronouns and gender identity automatically does not exist. Hmm. Anyway, didn't you say Turkish is not a gender language? No, which is why is it, it was really fucking annoying at first. Hasanabi, thought you said that the chat would be less sexist. Why are they acting like there's no way this woman has a job? One thing you guys both agree on is that you don't like this woman. Dude, I fucking, I want to sometimes put uh, rad femmes into, <laughs> into a work camp. I, I, I really do. If you're like a rad femme, you should work. It, you should Is that go, a radical feminist? You, don't you, like should, you should go to a woman's prison. Like you should be in a woman's prison where they treat you like uh, they would in a men's prison. Just for thought crimes. Okay? Like straight up. I mean, that's 100% that's my take. If you're like the type of person who hears me fucking shit on like, reactionary uh barbie over there uh going oh my god like children are learning gender pronouns this is a fucking holocaust or whatever and i just say like you're you have no job and that's why you're fucking busying yourself with this like psychotic bullshit and the only thing you hear there is that like women shouldn't have a job you should go to jail you should go to thought prison to be re-educated okay anyway Speaking figuratively, I don't mean literally. I am in support of rehabilitation, but sometimes it just <laughs> sometimes like fucking. Sometimes you just gotta send them straight there. Anyway. Well, that was fun. That um, was yeah, I guess. Uh, what is what this person is saying that I'm going? Yeah, dude, sexism jumps out at me. I can care about multiple things. Dude, 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 dude. You are. Look, here, we, we can end this on a concession. Okay. I hate this more than conservatives do. The type of person that fucking looks at a conversation, does not understand the point I'm trying to make, and associates it with like whatever the fuck is about themselves, is a narcissistic person who does not give a shit about the 37,000 other individuals that are here. That person is a narcissist. That person is not a progressive. They're just using progressive aesthetics and progressivism to just, uh, to pursue their narcissistic desire to have themselves centered in a conversation, okay? So that is something that happens in liberal spaces regularly. That is something that happens in leftist spaces regularly. And I adequately slap them around when they say dumb shit like this because they're like, you're being fucking sexist, okay? Nothing I said about, uh, I don't know, fucking uh, recipients of intergenerational wealth uh, have to do with this, this Loudoun County mom has to do with like women not working or women working or anything in general like that. You chose to understand it that way. 
you know if you've been in here for long enough you've been following since january 6 2021 you've been in here for fucking more than a year you know what my point of view is on women in the fucking workplace you chose to derive a sexist fucking value out of what i just said because you're a fucking piece of shit narcissist who likes to adopt the aesthetics of progress to actually have a me 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 conversation you pathetic little snowflake bitch okay anyway done and and people do this all the time uh, it's very frustrating sexism jumps out at me you of being isn't 30 percent of the chat women it, it is it is weren't they non-binary why you gotta apply female gender identity to them? i'm not even talking about that i'm talking about the fucking uh i'm talking about the fucking Luden county mom who was not non-binary anyway um okay well christian thank you for coming on Thank you. It was fun. Uh, I just, I hope you understand that it's not just like that uh, conservatives being dumb is not the only thing that fucking frustrates you. Oh, me. trust me. I fuck it. Oh, it frustrates you? Well, good to hear. Do you want me to bring anything? No, don't worry about it. I'll clean up. Sure? Yeah, it's fine. Well, thank you. See you later. Okay. Thank See you, you for coming on. Uh, hopefully this was an educational opportunity in it some was. capacity. You me so much. You're such a liar. You basically converted me. Okay, you're lying, but hey, hopefully. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I am going to.